Here we go. I'm going to show you how I make my labels. So I use the app Over, O-V-E-R. I use this to create all my graphics. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just creating a sweet, short graphic. I want it to say Happy Mail. So in this program, I mean, you can choose from tons of fonts. You can upload your own, whatever. So I'm finding the words Happy getting that in there what I want it to look like I'm just gonna add the word mail next I like to put it in a fun font add some colors but this could be literally anything you want it to be I just needed to print some stickers that said happy mail today so that's what we're making up now what I've already done there we go I've already purchased my labels and they're just Avery address labels, the regular address label size. And on the uh, package of all the Avery labels, it gives a number. So that's what you wanna look for when you're buying that, whether it's on Amazon, Target, Walmart, wherever it is that you get them. Just look for the Avery brand, A-V-E-R-Y. So I'm just fixing my color here. Add a little bit of a shadow so it kind of stands out on the sticker. But here we go. That's it. Short, sweet, to the point, right? Happy mail. <laughs> so now I'm just saving this to the photos on my phone. Now I'm going to go to well, Safari, but I'm just going online. I'm going to Avery.com. And now what I want to do is, well, I want to try and see if it's logging me in. There we go. Because what I want to do is type in, get logged in officially, there we go. All right, um, oh, this is going to, I think, open my projects. Now, once you're on Avery.com, this is free, by the way, completely free. Um, you can search through any saved project and reprint it reuse it, whatever you need to do, but I need to create a new one. So I'm just going to go try and type in the number from here. Remember, this is the number on the outside of my Avery uh, label that I bought. Here we go. All right. So up here in the top, I'm just going to put that number in because what that's going to do is pull up the template for these labels that I bought. There it is. Select. Now from here, you can add, you see they've got tons of designs and you know you can use all of these. I just like making my own. So that's what I do, I just pick the blank one. Now I'm going to add from images from my camera roll. I'm gonna pull that picture I just made, there we go. Now it's gonna put it on there. I'm just gonna resize it by just pulling it. I do all my labels, by the way, from my phone, so that helps. So there we go, just resizing it there, looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and save it real quick because this will probably be one that I can always print out again if I run out. I usually always have the address label size on hand for labels. This way I'll remember which one it is. Click save. That's just gonna save it to my projects. Now all I'm going to do is go to print. So here we go. I'm just going to click print. Then you just want to go to your printer, put your label paper in there. I'm just printing one sheet. Um, and for my particular printer, I just turn it upside down, put it in the printer, and it's going to pull from it. Like I said, I do all this from my phone. Um, I mean, I could do it from the computer, but I do everything from my phone. There's my printer, it's wireless. So that's how it's reading it. And now it's gonna print. And there's the final result. I got stickers ready to go on all my mail outs. Like I said, you can do this for absolutely anything, whatever you need to do. QR codes, whole nine yards.